his first point. He wanted it too. Instead, we remain scoreless with 11 and a half to play in the first until now as St. Mike's gets on the board. We'll all learn to live with it as we resume play in the center circle. This is one area actually where St. Rose has had a lot of success this year is in faceoffs. But now off the draw, a shot and a second goal for St. Mike's. Aiden Marin. Girardi starts the passing. McGaffigan shoots and scores. And that's a big one for the Purple Knights. And it's St. Mike's taking over after successfully killing the man down situation. Ralph Groloni the third with a mind to move towards the net. He shoots and scores. This time they're not able to do much with it. St. Mike's taking over. Lockwood setting up a player wide open in front. And a close range strike from Matt Cotter. Couldn't get his shot though. Now pass to Groloni. Groloni and Murphy meet, and that's a little bit of a size mismatch for Murphy. So what does Ralph Groloni do? He goes low, and he scores. Now the Golden Knights will have to hurry, just 14 seconds to shoot. Good pass, right in front, Joy with a big save. McGaffigan and McGuirk were on the far side. Now it's Lachlan heaving it over everybody to Groloni. He spins into a pile of players, but still manages to bury his fourth of the game. Lachlan on Lachlan for the first time, and that got both benches fired up. John, the midfielder for St. Rose, guarding his older brother, the attacker for St. Mike's. 